What's up guys, it's your boy Dom and welcome back to Dom Up Cuz. Before you get into the video, I want you to like, comment, and subscribe to join the ride and be with your boy Dom. You see me with my Rick and Morty shirt, you know what I'm saying? But hey, this video is coming out a day after the um, Jazz and Clippers game one. Um, let me talk about it real quick. You know, this this game, Donovan Mitchell had a good big game, 45 points. He had like, he, I think he had like scored 13 in the third quarter. In that first half, the, the Jazz looked like they weren't playing that good. They weren't shooting the ball very well. You know, they're a team that, you know, relatively lives or dies by the three. And in that first half, they looked like they were dying by the three. It To me, at when I first saw the first half, I was like, it's safe to say the Clippers might win this. You know, the Clippers are on a mission to redeem themselves from last season, being bounced out of the second round by the Denver Nuggets. Also, the, uh, the Jazz are on, are on a mission to redeem themselves after being bounced by the by the nuggets <laughs> so um relatively this was a great game um very close and was very exciting when the second half rolled around it wasn't the same jazz team we saw in that first half they john donovan mitchell started turning up everybody started hitting their shots you know everybody was hitting their big shots bogdanovic was hitting his shots um jordan clarkson was hitting his shots everybody was hitting their big shots the game started getting close around the end of the fourth quarter you know um Kawhi was putting up good shots he was getting his shots and he looked like he was about to take over the rest of the game and win the game as we all know that wasn't the same jazz team the jazz still pulled out with the win just to let y'all know game two uh game two is i think is going to be a very good game it's going to be a very very good game and i'm i'm excited to see how that goes we talk about the clippers the clippers um they didn't shoot the ball particularly well i hate talking about paul george on this channel I really do. Like, I hate talking about him. I have like three videos on him. I hate talking about him. But this, I have I have to talk about. Paul George, he had 20 points. He had 20 points. You know, 10 rebounds, two assists. He was 90% from the free throw line, but he was 23% from the field, 37% from three. Kawhi, he had 23 points, seven rebounds, three assists, one steal. He was 100% from the free throw line. He shot only 25% from three. And he only shot 47% from the uh from the field. If you if if you look at the stats at the box score, Luke Kennard was their best best shooter efficiently efficient wise. He had he was 78% from the field goal uh from field, and he was 66% from three. For the um Jazz, you know Bogdan Bogdanovic, he had 18 points. He was he had a pretty efficient game from three. He had 50% from three. Donovan Mitchell had a stellar game, 45 points, 53% from the field, and he had was 40% from three. Rudy Gobert, he had like a typical Rudy Gobert stat line, 10 points, 12 rebounds, and he had that game-winning block. I mean, would Marcus would have would if would he have made that shot? Would have Marcus Morris made that shot? Probably not. But you know, it, it, we can all say it's a game-saving block. For the next few games of this series, um, this is probably going to be a very good series. You know, series lot games that are going to come down to the line. You know, in this series, it, it's not gonna, it's not, it's not disappointing. It's not disappointing. I'm not disappointed by anything that's going on right now. This game really lived up. Well, actually lived over the expectations because I think people really thought the Clippers were about to like, you know, what I'm saying demolish the Jazz, and it looked like that. For in the first half, you know, it looked like that in the first quarter. It looked like that in the second quarter. That was a different Jazz team coming out, and I'm really excited to see how the rest of this series turns out. I know I was going to talk about the Denver Nuggets and Suns game one, but game two is happening right now, so I'll give my opinion on game two, and I will also give my opinion on game one in that game two, like I did with the Nets and Bucks series. Tell me your thoughts about the Jazz and Clippers series and any other series you find interesting right now. Tell me your thoughts about it in the comments. A hey, first one, a hey, if you comment below, um, what player is the best player in the NBA right now to you? And also, peace out, 100. How can you like the video without liking it? God bless. Peace out, 100.